So moving on, uh, I, I I know you wanted you 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 told me you wanted to talk about this. I'm gonna let you have the floor. Uh, talk about your uh, defense doesn't matter theory in baseball. Just go ahead. I want I want to hear about this because you said you were dying to talk about it. So <laughs> yeah, because I've I've been waiting for like any kind of platform to kind of talk about this because I think it's I mean for for a sport where fans, especially like the stat geeks, claim to be all about stats and kind of you know rationalizing um value in that respect it drives me crazy the more i think about it the more i'm sure i'm I'm right it drives me crazy that hall of famers are decided by position because in my mind defense just doesn't matter all that much and the the example i always use is why couldn't mark grace have played second base there's no reason why mark grace couldn't have played second base he was a gold glove caliber first baseman he was about um, what about six one six two, not too tall for the the position. Yeah, he was a lefty, but um, I don't really see a problem there. I don't see why a lefty can't play second base. Again, challenging all these kind of ideas that for some reason we stick with. I don't know why, but he's a career let's say three oh three hitter. I believe he would have been a Hall of Famer if he played second base. But what's the difference? I mean, what did he contribute? on the field that makes him no shot hall of fame because he played first, but could have been a hall of famer if he played second. And now think about this, those Chicago teams, especially during, you know, when they had Sammy Sosa in his prime, what if Mark race was playing second base and you could even do some, you know, different combinations, you know, when Ryan Sandberg was still around, what if, you know, Ryan Sandberg was playing shortstop or third base. If you just open up first base, you have the opportunity to sign somebody with power to kind of back up Sammy Sosa and you make your team more valuable. But because Mark Grace is just, you know, shoehorned in there as a first baseman and nothing more, you can't really improve your team. So like my idea with defense doesn't matter. It's not that it doesn't matter. It's just that I want to challenge the idea that certain players can only play certain positions. Yeah. But what, what I, I think, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I was, was going to say, like, the perfect example is, you know, Barry Bonds. We consider him the greatest player of all time. But, it, again, like, what if he – I mean, why couldn't he play second base? We think of him as, like, this, like, monster. But, like, he's still a baseball player, right? Like, he's well, he, still I mean, a he won gold – didn't he win gold gloves before he started juicing? Yes, absolutely, yeah. Right. So, I mean, but, like, I mean, you stick him in the outfield. He was a really good outfielder, right? Absolutely. And, you know – I, I will say the only position where it doesn't really work would be catcher. And I get that. I mean, we're, I'm not trying to put, you know, Mark Grace a catcher or, you know, Barry Bonds behind the plate. I understand that kind of deal. But, I mean, for the most part, I don't see why pretty much any player can't play any position. And especially now, I think in baseball now, like where it would matter now is that you, you got guys that are striking out an unbelievable amount and guys hitting home runs and pop flies how important is it in baseball now to be an infielder i mean again if i had spader here he would tell you the stats i can just tell you what it feels like it feels like there's less ground balls right but what what about like you know the defensive run saves that the outs above average they don't matter well no i think that that's the thing um and it's i I guess it's kind of like defund the police i I gotta come up with a better slogan it's not that defense doesn't matter I just think I consider baseball players baseball players. So would you say they're like more, more overrated then? Yeah, I, I would just say defense, um, like as a, I mean, defense shouldn't be uh, exclusionary, if that's a word. It, right. We shouldn't be excluding. Well, I mean, take take this as an example. I was watching Moneyball about two weeks ago. I, I rewatched it. I hadn't seen it for in years. Right. And – the one uh, thing they, they did, who was the guy, uh, shoot, the guy they got to play first base. For some reason, the old Philly's name, Kevin Sefcik, is in my head, but that's certainly not it. But whatever his name was, well, um, well, the old Oakland Athletics guy. Uh, he, he said you know he, what I'm talking about? He played play for the Phils too, you said? No, no. I just, for some reason, Kevin Sefcik's name was in my head. I don't know why. but uh, I, 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 I can't remember his, his, his damn name, but the yeah. idea was – he had a high on base percentage, and he couldn't play catcher anymore because he couldn't throw. Oh, that was so um, said, what's his face, uh, Mark uh, Hatterberg. 
right? Scott Hatterberg? That's exactly right. Scott Hatterberg. Scott Hatterberg. Yeah, Scott Hatterberg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So their I- idea was like, you know, he can't play de- – he can't throw. So we'll put him at first base. We don't really care about his defense because all we need is his on-base percentage. Exactly. The right. defense is going to be what the defense is. And the defense – your defense usually doesn't cost you games. I mean, if nobody is building a team – around defense. It's not football. Um, basketball, you can kind of build a defensive squad. The Pistons won a championship right, right. About, a, about a decade ago doing that. But mm-hmm. usually that's not – it's never the way you go in, in baseball. So my idea is just that, that these guys are athletes. If I'm the Phillies and I have a log jam at first base, I, I'll still sign a first baseman. I'll just have him play outfield because how bad could he be? I'll put him somewhere. I'll find a spot for him. I don't care about his defense. I want his bat. But I think nowadays, and I think it's always kind of been that that way. If you got a guy stuck at a position, you're not you're not thinking about anybody else who plays that position. I think that's crazy. These guys are athletes. They I believe they should be able to play anywhere. And he they might not be a gold glove caliber player at that position, but they'll figure it out. I mean, you know, you know, it's funny, too, because people brought it up about that's not the number one thing. Obviously, the the number one thing that was wrong with the Phillies this year was the bullpen. But people have always said, like, oh, you know, uh, Segura isn't a good second baseman. Stick him at third. Uh, Kingery's defense isn't that good, blah, blah, blah. When that's not I mean, you really think that defense was going to make a difference in the Phils making the playoffs because it wasn't, you know, the bullpen was just that right. bad. That so I, I I agree with you to a certain extent. I think that uh you know you can't discount this defensive run saved. I think uh I mean maybe I, I know Viscal and uh, Roberto Alomar they were both you know they had good bats too and they're in the Hall of Fame they had good bats. But I, I feel like those were two guys that were probably more known for their defense if I'm not mistaken. So I mean I feel like there are guys that you know it does matter, right? Right, and that's. I don't know if I want to go so far as to question, like maybe we've been overvaluing guys like Ozzie Smith and Omar Vizquel this entire time, but maybe, I mean, I don't know how you would look at that. Um, you know, you have the defensive run saved thing, but um, is that going to be more important than what they do in the batter's box? My, my whole problem is that they've always been judged against guys at their own position. Put it this way. If, my shortstop is batting 260 and every other shortstop in the league is batting 250. I'm not that excited about having the best shortstop in the league because it's, he's still just batting 260 with 10 home runs. I mean, I'm, that's not doing it for me. That's not very impressive. I want a guy take out every position. Don't tell me which position they play and show me my lineup and show me what they're doing in the batter's box. That's what I'm more concerned about. How I would apply that to now, you look at a guy like JT Real Muto, you know, he's going to sign a record breaking contract for a catcher. And I will admit that defense is a catcher way more important. But at the end of the day, he's still a guy that hits 20, 25 home runs and hits like 275. Am I going to give him a $200 million contract for a guy that hits 275 with 20 to 25 home runs, especially when? catchers normally don't end at that position yeah. you know delete the position and show me what they're doing in the batter's box and that's where i want to put my money i think the big mistake people make is that oh well i signed the best second baseman and i signed the best shortstop i signed the best catcher well the best second baseman shortstop and catcher usually aren't giving you jack on offense so what does it matter 